welcome to the brand new series for the regular expressions and i'm sure at the end of this series you will be able to read this kind of gibberish which is just going to find a pattern for determining the html tags so you can see we have various tags here and we can simply determine any kind of html tag with this kind of pattern this seems very gibberish and it's totally unrecognizable at this time but after you complete this series after you complete this regular expression course i bet you you will be easily able to read this understand this or even create this but why I have chosen for the determination of the HTML tag, finding the pattern for HTML tag. If you find any course, any tutorial on web and they are just telling you about how to find a pattern for uh, email, uh, phone number or simple things, but it will be a great, great exercise if you will be able to write an regular expression, your own regular expression for html tag and obviously the content inside that so this idea came in my mind when i was searching for an html tag in my editor vs code so i just type article and yeah it just completed that and it just find wherever i use that particular word article but at that time if i hover over here you can see here we have some kind of icon if i click it yes it is now converted to use regular expression this means here i can use a regular expression so regular expression is very very cool and you can do any kind of thing so i search for a pattern which is starting with this bracket then i want an article then i want a closing back so it just selected that so we have used very first regular expression pattern detection which is just for finding the article so in this series yes we will go and search a pattern for finding the email or finding any phone number credit card number but let me tell you because here in your editor this regular expression is used but regular expression is very very useful and can be used for various kind of things as we know regular expression is very useful but if you have ever used the webpack file loader in your package.json file you have recognized this kind of thing so it is just going to search for files so you can see this actually is a regular expression we are saying that okay i want any of these png jpg or gif at the last followed by this dot sign so any file having dot png name then it will recognize it as a dot png file and we have seen regular expression is so useful in javascript community then comes django that means the python in django the routes are defined by regular expressions so here the route path is actually defined by this so here this caret sign and this dollar sign have special meanings so caret is just saying that okay i want just from the starting and dollar is saying that okay everything before this has to be at the last so this is saying that okay whole of these things has to be from the starting to the end between that so this is for the django that means for the python community super super useful regular expression then you can see we have this where we have used regular expression in java java has this uh, package called java util regex.pattern and here we can use this so it's searching for this kind of pattern and it's just matching that this pattern is going to give a same result for this or not so you have seen that regular expression is very very useful so in this series what we are going to do we are going to use this website which is regxr.com and also one more website which is regx101.com why too because when we are writing the regular expression this website is very very useful and it has no matching but when we are analyzing our 
code and our search patterns groups then this website will give you best results because here you can see it says all of the matching and where is the group one group two yes in this website we can get all these things but it's not so clear than here so this is very nice and one thing more is that in this regexr website you can only uh, search for two kind of regular expressions obviously there are kinds of regular expression and this is just not kind actually every language has its own certain rules broadly saying everything is same in every kind of languages but they have just modified some of the rules maybe some has some doesn't have like javascript doesn't have look behind but php has php already include the global flag javascript not so these are the things so you can see in this website we just have two options for regular expression engine but here we have four options so you can play around these things so that's why i have chosen two different kind of uh, uh, website for that and i'm sure you are very excited for this series because i am very excited and you know regular expression if you learn first it will blow up your mind but i'm sure at the end of this series you will be happy and I'm, I'm sure you will just play around these things and you will come up with your pattern for each and every kind of things like finding a pattern of email finding a pattern of credit card finding a pattern of uh, phone number and finally the finding a pattern for html tag and this is very cool and if you have liked these episodes and if you want to follow up with me on this regular expression series just go and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notification share these videos with your developer friends because this is not a single language concern the regular expressions are not connected to only a single uh, language it's even itself is a language and this is very very useful thing so share these videos with your friends and don't forget to like bitfumes on facebook twitter instagram and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye